Hey guys, what's up? Poopless Dragon here with another deck profile. Today I'm doing an update on my Magician Pendulum deck. So let's get right on into things. To start things off, we got Triple Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. A uh, pretty cool card. If he's on the field, you can. Well, if he's on the field and attacks something and inflicts battle damage, it does double. So that's kind of cool. And uh, the main effect you're going to use is to pop him during the end phase from your pendulum zone to add a pendulum with 1500 less attack from your deck to your hand. Which is a little slow now, but uh, it's still a scale forward. Most of the stuff you run here is like 7, so you can still pendulum and then just end phase pop and add something else. So, still a really good card, I think. Then we got Triple Dragon Pit, uh, your main level 8 guy. Well, scale 8. <laughs> um, just good for getting off your XDs pretty much, just because he's rank 8, and you can discard a. Well, if you control a magician in your other pendulum zone, you can discard a pendulum monster to target spell trap and destroy it. Then triple oaf dragon. Um, he's kind of the same thing. Lots of them have claws if you have a magician in your other zone. But if you do, you can add a magician or odd eyes from your extra deck to your hand. Then if it's normal or special, you can target magician or odd eyes monster in your graveyard and add to your hand. So just brings back stuff and he's rank six, which is helpful every now and then. And triple wisdom eye. Uh, it's effective, again, if you have a Magician, but it's also can be Perform Kyle and your other monster, well, Pendulum Zone. Uh, you can destroy them, and then search for something else and put it there. And the other effect is you can discard them to make a scale, go back to its original scale, which you never really use. Well, I've never used, at least. Then two Apex Avian, still really like this card, great for negation. Uh, spell Trap or Monster Effect, you just turn to the hand, negate it. So good stuff. Then two things, she magician. Uh, pendulum effect is you can make a monster with an exceed, turn it into a level instead. And his other effect is during either player's turn, you can gate a light monster's effect, which is pretty good. Then two dragon pulse. Uh, it's another low scale and it's earth, so this and the glow ball by run allow for you to make maturity beast, which is going to get a lot of decks right now. Uh, and then it's got the same thing as your dragon pit, um, only it just pops monsters instead. Then I'm taking one Chaos Hunter. Um, think thinking about maybe even doing two of this. I really like this card. Um, make sure your opponent can't banish. You can discard a card when your opponent special summons to special summon her. Or you can just Pendulum Summon her since she's level 7, which works really well in here. Uh, and then I'm doing one Dharma Eye, which I'm thinking about maybe cutting for another Chaos Hunter just because um, it's great against the Cosmo matchup and other random things. Stops Bottomless and a few other stuff. But uh, Dharma Eye. He's just good for when he's pendulum summoned, he makes it so your pendulum monsters can't be destroyed by card effects. The other effect you're not really going to use, you can discard. Well, you can reveal a pendulum to pretty much change the scale to that. Um, maybe every once in a while it might be useful, but mostly you're going to just pendulum summon him. Then one Kieran. I'm also thinking about maybe bumping this up to two because it can be pretty decent as well. It can't be targeted or be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And uh, during either player's turn, you can target a pendulum monster and bounce them back to the hand, so pretty awesome. Then one Stargazer, um, I mainly run this because it's another low scale and can be searched by your odd eyes, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, his effect is if you don't have another uh, perform pile, I mean uh, perform pile magician or odd eyes guard in your other zone, he becomes four, so you just want to kind of have that so he stays one, even though the four doesn't matter too much in here. But also, if a pendulum monster control attacks or attack, your opponent can't activate spells till the end of the damage step, which can also be decent every now and then. And his other effect is uh, once turn, you can target. Well, when one of your other pendulums would return to the hand, you can special summon with the same name. So, like, if they can pull some of your guys, you can special summon them back. Uh, and then one Skull Cravat Joker. Um, you don't really want to use him as a scale, because then you can only summon Perform Power Magician or Odd Eyes cards. Um, which you do have a lot in here, but then you can't use your Apex Avian or a few other things. So it's better just normal summon them than add a Perform Pile, or Magician, or Hot Ice Guy from your deck to your hand. And for the last monster, is one Glow Ball, which I think most people don't know. You can mill off from the grave, pull a card from the top of your deck to bring him back. And he's just good for Synchro Summoning. So a little long on the monsters, just felt I should explain some of them since some people may not know. Uh, triple Pendulum Call. Discard a card, add two magicians, then your uh, pendulum zones can be destroyed by card effects. Well, magician cards in your pendulum zones. Then triple upstart, add more consistency. Uh, two sky iris and a terraforming, just to try to get to them a little quicker. And uh, this just makes so your magician, perform pile, and highest card in pendulum zones can be targeted by your points card effects, which is quite nice. Um, also, you can 
or in one other phase of cardio control, destroy it, and then add a odd ice craft deck to your hand. Then two wavering eyes, because it's still great for uh, mirror matches or any other pendulum deck. Then one odd eyes fusion. Uh, makes your odd eyes fusions, but also if your opponent controls two or more monsters and you have none, you can use cards from your extra deck for material, which is pretty cool. So that's it for the spells. Then on to the traps. I'm running double solemn scolding. Um, I hardly run any traps on this deck, so this card works really well. When it's only a set card and your opponent activates a spell trap, or when a monster will be summoned, or a uh, monster effect, so pretty much anything. Uh, you pay 3k, then it negates and destroys it. So, kind of a hefty cost, but uh, it can stop anything, so there's something that might uh, really screw you over. It's a great card against. Uh, then one warning, great against other kind of pendulum decks, just uh, negate it all, or other random things. And then one bottomless, which, again, good for against pendulums. So that's it for the main deck. Onto the extra, <clears throat> got one odd eyes rebellion dragon. Um, you know, just let you guys read its effect if you want. It's kind of long, but uh, you're not really gonna ever use that unless you get uh, your zinc she. This guy right here. Uh, if you use his effect and turn one, your level seven exceeds. Then you can make this guy do some pretty crazy stuff, like he blows up things and. Allows additional attacks and all kinds of crazy stuff, but uh, he's there in case that ever does happen, which it rarely ever does. Mainly you're just going to special in him with your Odd Eyes Absolute. So then two Odd Eyes Absolute Dragons. Uh, it can negate an attack, then special an Odd Eyes Monster from your hand to graveyard, which is pretty cool. Then when it's destroyed, after being special from the extra deck, you can special an a Odd Eyes Monster from your extra deck. Uh, one Red Eyes Flare is good for the burn, pretty much, and uh, it can't be destroyed by card effects while it has material. One big eye for snatching stuff. Uh, Utopia Beyond, make all your opponent's monsters attack zero, push for game, or uh, if you make them all zero, <laughs> attack with uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, it's 5k, so that's a pretty fun little combo, because he does double. Uh, one Rito, the Moral Leader, um, just takes two level six spellcaster and can get spiller traps, so pretty cool. One Trapeze Magician, just uh, good to get in a little extra damage, try to go for game. Uh, one Castell for return stuff, and one Dweller, just because it's good against a lot of decks right now. Then two Odd Eyes Vortex, you make it very easily in here. When you special summon, you can return one face of attack which monster your opponent controls to the hand, so it's alright. And as other effects, the main one you're going to use the most during either player's turn. When a spell trap or monster effect is activated, you can shuffle a pendulum monster from your extra deck back into the deck to negate it. And that's once per turn, but still, very great effect. Uh, then one Enlightenment Paladin. Um, I really like this card. It's pretty cool. If you use your Magician Pendulum as a material, you can target a spell card in your graveyard and add back to your hand. But uh, you can only do that once per turn. But that's still pretty nice because you can add back a spell from your graveyard every turn as long as you use that. And as other effect is, when you destroy this monster by the battle, you can inflict damage point equal to that monster's original attack. So pretty much they're going to take 25, no matter what, because you're going to attack over something, they're going to take the monster stack. Then one Odd Eyes Meteor Burst. Um, can be made in here, but, uh, again, mostly you're going to just special summon it off of your Odd Eyes Absolute. Um, it sells monster effects during the battle phase, so it's good against, uh, Cosmos. That's the thing you're going to do. And when special summon, you can special summon something from your Pendulum Zone, but, um, uh, that's if you need to. And then the last, but not least, one Nature of Beast, because it negates spells, which is really great right now. So yeah, there was my Odd Eyes, well, Magician Pendulum, Odd Eyes Pendulum, however you want to call it. But I thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you later.